It's the start of April. It's been a quiet week in Strongman, but we are leading into a very, very busy period. Auntie Liz has got all the news updates for you for this week. So quite a week in terms of competitions, etc. There was a few competitions we're going to go through a little bit later on, mm. but there has been some big news this week and quite sad news, actually. Mm. Uh, do you want to start us off with that? Yeah, so unfortunately on Monday, Mateusz Kieliszkowski has confirmed that he's been forced to withdraw from Europe's Strongest Man and World's Strongest Man this year due to injury. Now, we spoke to Mateusz on Sunday, I think it was. He is hopeful that he's going to be back later this year, hopefully for the Rogue Invitational. But of course, you know how it is with injuries. You've just got to see how the recovery goes and then it's getting strong again. But really, really sad to not have him at Europe's Strongest Man. I felt he could win. Uh, I was looking forward to seeing him at Europe, so I really yeah. was. I think um, he had a great chance of winning that show. He's been looking in good shape leading up to this. Yeah. Obviously, then he had World's Strongest Man, a number of other competitions lined up for this year as well. His very last heavy training session it was, mm. and um, ended up tearing his Achilles. It's such which... a risky time, isn't it, in terms of training leading into a big show? I really feel for him because... I'm close to Kieliszkowski, and obviously I've experienced that sort of knockback after knockback, and he's better than I ever was. You know, I, I obviously I managed to win Europe's Strongest Man, and that was that was great, but he is so much better than that. He's someone that we all know probably really should have won an Arnold's or a World's Strongest Man title. He's such an am amazing athlete, mm. and. I know if he just won one of those, it would just mean the world to him. It would mean the world to so many and, of us. <laughs> you know, you see that confidence start to build. Athletes, they, they kind of, you know, you go from the depths of despair of you, you've kind of had these injuries, multiple injuries. Yeah. And then you think, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm holding together. I'm coming back. I put in a good performance at the Arnold's. I'm feeling good. Training's going well. And then, boom, something like that hits. And it becomes harder mentally more than just physically. Physically, he will recover. He's, I, I believe he's already had surgery. I've actually just messaged him tonight just to check. But I know he was talking about getting surgery really quickly, which yeah. is ideal in that case. Um, if he's had good surgery, he can be back very quick. We're seeing that with Trey Mitchell, exactly. who's come back super fast. And the advancements in the treatments that the athletes get compared to five, ten years ago, things are so much better. We're seeing these athletes come back. But... It is that psychological side that becomes harder and harder. I so hope he comes back. I so hope we can see him back to his best. Okay. But we send Matthias like, all our love and, and wish him the best. And I'm sure you guys want to see him back to his best as well. I promise this will be my last sad news of the week. But Martins Lissis also confirmed on his Instagram that he's not going to be competing at World's Strongest Man this year. So he's put it down to his sciatica that's really been playing him up and he wants that to heal properly. And I'm not surprised with Martins, like after the Arnolds, he wants to win everything. He's not going to turn up to Worlds for a holiday. No. You know, he wants to come and win, and rightly so. Former World's Strongest Man, former Arnold Classic winner, former Rogue Invitational winner. Yeah. He's not someone that just wants to make up numbers. And, you know, he needs to get himself back to his best and, again, feeling confident. It's, a, it's such a shame because the start of this year, obviously, we had Thor coming back into Strongman. I know. We, we had Martins, you know, looking to compete, um, Kieliszkowski. That's and it's shame. like, you know, okay, Thor's not doing worlds. We understand why. It's good to see him back and we've got things to look forward to with Thor. But with Kieliszkowski uh, pulling out of worlds, now Martins pulling out of worlds, it starts to kind of... You know, in my eyes, it's starting to become a two-horse race again. It does you know, feel a little bit like with that. like. Uh, I don't mean any disrespect to any of the other athletes, no. but when you look at the last few years and the kind of shape and form people are in, and the way world's strongest man is, is to, in terms of a competition, I feel it's going to be a real battle between Tom and Mitch, mm. and then everyone else really fighting for third place. I, I felt really defle deflated. I felt really deflated after the news because I thought, oh God, like you said, we, you know, we had the Arnolds, which was one of the absolute best lineups, probably the best lineup yeah. in strongman history for yeah. all, well, one two day show. But then to come from those sort of dizzy heights and now it's like people are having to pull out. Oh, it's mm. sad. It's, I know it's path that it's, it, strong. It, it is tough. And like I see the arguments where people say, is there too many competitions now? And, you know, maybe that is a case, but there was always a lot of competitions. And these are athletes that do pick and choose a lot as well. They do. And, and I think it's good that we have a lot of competitions because it gives other athletes those opportunities. Yeah. 
But what it does mean with those two pulling out is now there are four spaces up for World's Strongest Man. It's getting man. bigger and bigger, that number. And wow, so we've got Europe's Strongest Man next week. Now, there are five men competing at Europe's Strongest Man that have not yet had a World's Strongest Man invitation. Not an official one, anyway. They may have had a... Well, they will have had a save the date type card. <laughs> so if we go through the whole lineup then, starting with the guys that have officially been invited slash qualified for World's Strongest Man. So they are Shane Flowers, Pavlo Kordiaka, Luke Stockman, Ivor Schmuxtelis, Gav Bilton, Alexei Novikov and Rauno Hainler. And then not yet confirmed for World's Strongest Man, but competing at Europe's, so we've got Andre Foytu, Konstantin Janasha, former fourth place at World's Strongest Man, Nicholas Camby, Frederick Johansson, and Paro Dwyer. So five guys, five guys, four slots. However, let's not forget Lucas Hatton. Because it I'm, seems like World's Strongest Man won to. <laughs> I'm gonna keep talking about him until, well, even after the 30th athlete is announced if he's not invited, because out of like, you know, Martins has pulled up. That in my eyes, makes another space for an American athlete. Why not have America's Strongest Man, who also plays third at the Arnold's UK, ahead of... Multiple guys that are going to Worlds. Exactly. Like, I, I, I know how they do things. Yeah, and that's World's why Strongest I don't Man like <laughs> also have a ability to give wild cards out. They do give wild cards out. There is no one on the planet right now more deserving than Lucas Hatton of an invite to World's Strongest Man that hasn't been invited. He is the strongest not to yet be invited, I feel. Current and athlete, yes. I feel the competition is less for not having a minute if they choose not to go with him. I can't, like, if they're going to put in another American athlete, it has to be Lucas Hatton. I'm, on current form. On current form, yes. Damn it. Get a petition going, guys. If yes. you're a Lucas Hatton fan and you want to see him at World's Strongest Man, let's make it happen. Harass them on Instagram. <laughs> Sorry, World. <laughs> Do it. I'll join in. It'll be fine. We'll all have fun. And I've got another bone to pick with World's Strongest Man while we're on a roll. 26 days until the competition starts as of right now filming. No events. Like, we know the events. They know the events. Just release the damn events. The athletes have the events. Why don't we have the events? Why is it so late this year? <laughs> I have to say, and I said this in our live last week, it feels this year, and I hope I hope there's some big secret that's being kept quiet that's going to completely prove me wrong, but it feels like we've taken a step backwards. Like, I felt, I've been a pain in the ass to World's Strongest Man in the past, Brian Shaw's been a pain in the ass to World's Strongest Man in the past, I'm we've been vocal and, and spoke, and it's because we're passionate and we want to see the sport be better, you know? I, I know you guys want to see the sport better, and we've had people working at Worlds that suddenly it seemed like, okay, they're listening, they yeah, want the yeah. sport to be better. And it just feels like this year, we're going backwards again. This, this, the information just isn't forthcoming. Now, I know he divided opinion, but Mitch Ladner, who was a head of social media for the last couple of years, he was so passionate about getting out as much information as possible, really building that social Build media. That, we are fans that yeah. want to look forward to building up to this event. I'm a massive arm wrestling fan, and every day I'm looking at videos of Devon versus Levin. Yeah, yeah. It's two weeks away. There's all sorts of kind of information online. There's videos out there. They they do a good job of promoting their own sport. And our major competition at the moment is putting posts up about Derek Ryan Poundstone. Shaw or Derek Panson. Look at this beast from you know, and that's the, the the comment. I'm like, guys, you've got the biggest show of the year coming up. Let's build up the entertainment and the the excitement the for it, the hype for it. We got Mitch Hooper out there doing a 220 kilo axle. Tom Stockman hungry to get on that podium and, and win a third World Strongest Man title. Matt Rag looking in amazing form and wanting to prove that he's going to be one of the best this year. Evan Singleton. Evan Singleton hungry as ever. Let's get the athletes that are competing. Let's build it up. Let's see what they're doing and kind of get us all excited for World Strongest. Strongest man. Ooh. Anyway, we've had our little rant. <laughs> we've had our and, um, whinge. We hope. We we keep our fingers crossed that, like I said, there's some big secret plan and, and World's Strongest Man are ready to push and you know give us the events and give the, the give the fans what we want, that build up to what should be the biggest show of the year. Let's hope they prove us wrong. <laughs> So in other news, we have the Strongman Champions League Martinique this weekend. Now it's the second Strongman Champions League show of the year. First show was won by Ivo Schmuxlis, who is not doing this show because he's got Europe's next weekend. So it's going to be an opportunity for someone new to take the leader's shirt. 
It is. I saw, I saw on Instagram a couple of the athletes that arrived there, but their luggage hasn't. Always oh, one of the no. worst things as an athlete, but hopefully luggage gets there in time and they, you know, the strong men will help each other. They'll they give do, each other yeah, equipment yeah. and stuff like that. But I've been in that position before when you travel and you don't have your equipment with you. It can be a bit annoying, but best advice I can give to, if that happens to an athlete, just roll with it. You are all that needs to be there. You don't need all the equipment and stuff. You're the athlete, you got the invite, go and show them what you can do, and your friends will give you a kit anyway to use. And also, Strongman Champions League don't allow much kit. They've got some really weird rules, like one arm sleeve, and the one elbow sleeve, for example, sorry. And you know what that is? So for people that don't know, they're trying to discourage the use of equipment because they want the fans to see the muscles <laughs> and to not have them coming out like... I don't know, Robocop. I, 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 I like it. Like, I, I understand it. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, I guess. No, I get it too. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, show us some skin. <laughs> but then also, you want the sponsors as well. <laughs> hmm, yeah, yeah, I guess. So, it's I a, guess it's a. Uh, yeah, but we wish all the athletes the best of luck. It sounds like it'll be a nice sunny competition to be involved mm -hmm. with. And we hope it goes really, really well. So delving into the world of weight class athletes, and there's been a new world record set on the under 80 kilo Max Atlas Stone. Kyle Scott lifted an incredible, is it 184 kilos? 184 kilos, huge, huge lift, absolute monstrous weight. Yeah. This guy's stones are unbelievable. And um, yeah, massive congratulations to Kyle. <laughs> this guy's stones are unbelievable. <laughs> My stones. <laughs> And sticking with weight classes, Chaos put on England's Strongest Man under 90 kilos this last week, and it was won by Dan Benson. Dan Benson taking first, Ollie Clark, I believe, was second, and Josh Lancaster in third. So, yeah, mm -hmm. congratulations to those three. Um, Solid all, all awesome athletes as well. Mm -hmm. So you've got a little gossip corner, haven't you, guys? Final instalment of <laughs> these videos is Liz's gossip corner. <laughs> so it's not much this week, but Thor put out a deadlift video, normal training video, and he asked a question in the caption about... No, no, sorry. He said that he's planning on a big deadlift later this year. So obviously I was thinking, hmm, what Where's big deadlift could that be? Well, we've got two big deadlifts. Potentially. Obviously, there's a max standard height deadlift at um, Strongest Man on Earth slash Shore Classic later this year. And then there's also going to be the Rogue Invitational. Now, I don't know if Thor's going to do Strongest Man on Earth. No one knows yet. He's not shown any commitment to doing it. He hasn't. And Brian has said before that he doesn't believe in guest lifting in a competition. So we can probably rule that out. Now, will Thor want to do an eight-event, really hard and heavy competition? I, I, I don't see Thor doing the Strongest Man on Earth, mainly because I've already seen him announce he's focused on the Rogue Invitational. He, he, he said this himself in his own videos, uh, in his own posts. He seems to be focused on that. Now, whether there will be a deadlift for Max there or not, we don't know. We don't know, we but don't what know we events. do know, that whether it's Rogue or Brian's competition, it will be suitless. It will be without a suit in both. Well, Brian's definitely... And Rogue, definitely. Well, Rogue, Rogue, if they do what they've done in the past, but they've never done a standard deadlift. They've only ever done the Elephant Bar deadlift. We don't know what events they're going to put they've up. They've done they the put Tower up. of Power. Yeah, obviously that's not a, yeah. um, but a the, deadlift but for Max. The, yeah. but, but, but what I'm saying is we don't know what events are coming at Rogue. No, we don't. There might potentially be another event that he's referring to. He might decide to just do it in the gym and do 502. Who knows? <laughs> you know. But the fact is, I'm loving that Thor is back training. Yeah, me too. Um, I'm excited to see him compete later in the year. I think it's great for Strongman. I wish he would do Worlds from a, just a, from a fan's point of view. Totally get why he doesn't. That's yeah, yeah. you know up to him. But um, and as Mitch's coach, I think Mitch needs a Thor in shape to keep him motivated. More foots up his ass. Yeah, he will <laughs> like feet. <laughs> you know, I think it was great for Mitch to have that battle with Thor. Um, but Thor's not back to his best yet. No, you know he needs full he, Thor. He needs he needs full <laughs> Thor. If you can beat full Thor. Then you start going into that kind of realm of, okay, this guy is seriously one of the best of all time. And I think Mitch has that belief in him that he can be one of the best of all time. And, and what he's doing at the moment proves that. Mm. I think he's probably the heavy favourite going into World's Strongest Man right now. Probably with Tom Stortman as his main opposition. If you knew the events, you'd agree to. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's frustrating me about the events? People know the events because Oscar Zielikowski actually kind of pretty much announced them in a video. Well, However, I... people have put them in the wrong place. So I'm trying to help you guys out. You've got it wrong. Next the... week, we will look at what all the athletes are training and figure out from that what we can about the events. 
Okay, but some of the events you think are in the heats are actually in the final and vice versa. What do you want about? I'm talking about the fandom. They've guessed where the events are, but some of it's wrong and I'm trying to What help. are they guessing? They're guessing Conan's in the heats. They're guessing a loading race into a yoke in the final. What else are they guessing? Um, they're guessing a vehicle pull. I'd understand why, because there's always a vehicle pull at World yeah. Series. I mean, if I was... If I was an athlete competing at Worlds and I was thinking just for the whole year I need to train, it's going to be Atlas Stones, an overhead press, a squat or a deadlift. They're guessing walking stones in the final. Walking <laughs> stones in the final. Farmer's walks in the final. <laughs> Tree carries in the final. Oh, just say it. <laughs> right, now let's close the video quick before I say too much. World's Strongest Man are going to announce the events. They have to. Get your act together. Come, Come on, on, guys. Please. Do it for us because we're, we're just desperate to We're going to say it otherwise. <laughs> we're going to do it. <laughs> I'm not sure how much longer Liz can keep this inside. I can't. <laughs> it's killing me. Right, guys. Thank you, as always, for joining us. If you're not already, subscribe to the channel, give us a like, and we will catch you next time, possibly with the events for World's Strongest Man. Take it easy.